It's a beautiful day at the 2023 Florida RV Super Show. Here we're looking at the Palazzo from Thor Motor Coach. This one is the 33.5. And it does have a bay over here behind these plants. You can see it. That's bay number one, bay number two. And there's a big bay right here. And this is actually a straight rail chassis, but you see basically you've got a decent amount of storage. You have an AC plug right there and a little light switch there. And this little platform here does slide in and out. Slides around. Not exactly like to slide out, but it is what it is. And you have another storage bay here. This is your fresh water tank, portable water fill. And here is your, all your house batteries. And this looks like your other part where your inverter is and your solar controller. Is, I'm not 100% sure. Here's your propane twitinet. And I'll have the, uh, the length and everything in the description below. Because right now I'm not sure how long this is, but it's fairly short. Uh, here's your tankless hot water system. This bay is open, but it's not. There it goes. Here's your death tank. All that works for that, huh? And here's basically your other side. Now this should be noted. On this side, there is a barn door arrangement here that you have extra storage in here. So that's kind of a really interesting feature here. And the last two bays here. Here's your propane tank. And some more storage up front. Yeah. Your windshield washer fluid and your hydraulic leveling system, as well as a few other things. Now we're gonna come around through the jungle here and let's go see what's going on inside. This is a mid-entry coach, and it should be noted there's a doggy door or kitty window right there. Here we come inside, and looks like it has residential-style vinyl flooring. Hey, Ben. I hear radio or something going on. Yeah, there's one. I thought I had turned it off, but I guess I think we're loud enough that we'll be okay. Anyway, I like this um, mid-entry door. You know, it's nice to come in. Your kitchen's here. You can put your groceries right into this nice refrigerator. Again, it's not staged yet, but uh, I what's like the, that. What's the freezer like? Like a normal freezer. Wow, okay. Okay, and then you've got your nice kitchen, kind of at an angle, you know, with the uh, two-sided sink. And let's see if I can put it back together here. Ben, uh, the, the cockpit is interesting. One of the things I like about the cockpit area is it does have a desk. Well, what we got here in front of the desk, we're going toward the dash. We have a booth down yet here, right? We do. And uh, there's some extra storage. And I think this one pulls out into a bit, if I'm not mistaken. Well, does this drawer is open? I think this does not open at all. Already left up, maybe. Well. Yeah, we got to lift the cushion up over there, and this whole thing lifts up. Right, but I just wasn't going to tear it apart, but we guess we're going to tear it apart, folks, because Ben is inquisitive. See, and it has storage underneath here when you lift up the cushion, and it's easy enough to put it back down in place by putting the cushion yes. down here. Let's hold on. Let's, um... Very similar to our Miramar, actually. Here we Except don't. we had drawers on the bottom. Of course, we don't have the Miramar anymore. So here's the cockpit area again. You got the what is that? Ten inch screen. That's a ten inch touch screen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's how you turn the it on. The seats are very nice, and they have that kind of look that we like. This is this is one of the things I do like. I like this desk because you can sit here and work and do whatever. It's an extra station without being in the way, especially with it being a mid entry door. The person doesn't have to move all the time. Mm -hmm. This up very big area too. Little spaces over here, you can put your pencils in, some paper clips. 
You know, and then you have your little doggy door down here. Yeah, well, doggy is the view. Or that door inside. window. Uh huh. We call it a kitty door, but yeah, it's a kitty window. We would call it, but for most people, it would be a doggy window. It has a Freightliner straight rail chassis, and we have some overhead uh, storage here that is coupled with the uh, drop-down bunt mechanism. I believe that can hold 500 pounds. 500 pound capacity right there. And I'm not, it's probably t t controlled by the Firefly system. So this model, as short as it is, uh, short as it is, has a very well-equipped kitchen. Um, and uh, these are the type of drawers they have in the uh, living room area. There are two drawers here, one there, and over there you have your electronic equipment, your couch, and of course your TV. And that's a Fitz TV, it doesn't move. That is correct, it's not a um, televator. Over here we have a bunk bed area. What if we fit out the rest of the kitchen, the drawers? We have an induction cooktop and how many drawers? Okay folks, we're going a little out of area for when we're jumping around a little bit. Hope you'll be here with us. There you go, and then the smaller drawers look like this. And then of course you have under your sink. Yeah, we're still developing our own style, folks, so we're not trying to copy off other YouTubers. We're trying to make something that's unique. Okay. Unique experience for our viewers here on YouTube. Here's our full bath. You have your shower over to your right. You have your sink. And you have several cabinets. They're kind of deep. You can open up one bin here, and you see how deep they are. Uh -huh. watch, watch your hand, and there's the other one. There it goes. A nice little sink, and I guess there's no real vanity access here. Um, but there's also no towel bars other than the towel ring, and so there's really no place to put towels. There's a couple of towel hooks over the door. Yeah, there's a couple there on the door. All right, I kind of closed this door in the back here to give Ben a surprise in a moment. But uh, here's a little cabinet. Uh, you could hang some coats there, I guess, or keys. Not real deep. Maybe, maybe with spices there. Three inches but, maybe. Yeah, so maybe some magazines, some little stuff you can put in there. And here we have some more, um, it's a bunk beds with tablet holders. And we have two drawers underneath. Right. And they're fairly, fairly deep, what they are, nice smooth mechanism. Okay, let's see what's in the, the bedroom here. Yeah, I shut the door. Something you don't find too often. They are in many RVs, but not a lot of them. And I really like this, this type. It's a north-south wow, bed. It's a north-south bed. With real size cabinets on either end. Looks like a queen, though. It's a queen bed. Yeah, yes. uh, but it's got nice cabinets and drawers on either end. And a couple over the... That's a good size wardrobe closet. It's about 36 inches long. It's a nice big overhead bed storage. And what do we have over here? Okay. This is the wardrobe area with some adjustable shelves in it so it's you can move them down. It's also got a bar up top so you right. can take the shelves out if you want. Right. It's a wardrobe. And this is your other wardrobe on the side. Same thing. Doors are a little stiff. It's a new unit. so. And there's four big drawers below, too. They look really big. How yep. deep are those? Wow. Okay, I didn't bring my measuring tape today. Well, I think... Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> And the TV is up here, of course, from the bed where you can watch it. Very nice. I do like to know something out behind you. Oh, wait. Don't forget I, what's I was behind about you. To say, where's the washer and dryer? Ah, uh -huh. right here. Here's stackable washer and dryer. Whirlpool, uh huh. Yes. All righty. Well, we hope you like this view of the Palazzo. I forgot what model we were in. Um. Well, uh, well, Ben forgot too, <laughs> but it's at the beginning of the tape, folks. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, view of the plaza and uh, just remember to always open the doors to adventures and start your journey with rv keys have, have a, a great, great day, day folks don't forget to like and subscribe